Hey there, I'm Ocean Robbins, CEO of the Food Revolution Network. When people ask me what's got me the most concerned or troubled at this point in history, I instantly think of my kids. I think about the next generation of our species. I think about what kind of world they're going to live in. And since my work is focused around food, I'll tell you, I feel really concerned in a lot of ways about our food system. I feel concerned about how it's become toxic. We've now got an FDA, a USDA, a government that are for the most part enacting the policies that big food and big agribusiness want. They're doing the bidding of Monsanto, McDonald's, and other big corporations. And they're not looking out for the well-being of people like you and me. That scares me and it disturbs me. I'm especially disturbed by how many kids today are growing up sick, by how many people of color and people of low income are suffering the greatest consequences from a toxic food culture. Did you know one in three kids is expected to get diabetes in their lifetime? We've now got epidemic rates of lifestyle-induced chronic illness. I'm talking about stuff like heart disease, Alzheimer's, cancer, obesity. It scares me how many people feel like it is their fault that they're sick, that they're unhealthy. How many people don't even realize that we've got systems in place that are systematically encouraging behaviors, corporate policies, agribusiness practices that have led us to a food supply that is now saturated with pesticides, with chemicals, with hormones, with antibiotics, with genetically modified organisms. And you know what? All of these things together are creating a toxic soup that's destabilizing the health, not just of the present population, but of the future of life on this planet. Now, if you feel discouraged about the world and its future, I want to say, first off, you've got good reason to be. The problems are immense. But at the same time, every act of courage and love and beauty that we can manifest, every stand for life is precious, sacred, beautiful. It is precisely because humanity and the earth are worth loving and fighting for and standing for that we grieve when there is loss and suffering. But it's also because of that that we've got hope. As long as there is breath in your lungs, as long as there is blood in your veins, as long as there is a prayer and a dream and a possibility that lives in your heart, then hope is very much alive in this world. I think the same forces that have brought us through billions of years of evolution and that have brought us to this critical moment in our history are also carrying us, guiding us, inspiring us. So for all these reasons, I have immense hope for the future of life on this planet. If you'd like to join us in standing up for Grounded Hope, then check out our site at foodrevolution.org. You'll find hundreds of blog articles, videos, tools, and resources that can help you to stand up for healthy food for you, for your loved ones, and for your planet. I look forward to working with you for a real food revolution.